Welcome to the video. So following my video on the Asus Spin 311 Chromebook, I had this question in the comments. So I said I'd see what I could do. Here's what happened. Okay, just before we get started, here's the version of Chrome that I'm running on the Chromebook. And here's the version of Robox. I do like that upper limit of the in-app purchases as well. Hopefully nobody's spending that much. And also just to mention, I guess the convenient thing with the Asus Spin is the different uh, form factors you can use it in. Um, so temp mode or like this, like on your lap or even in full tablet mode for gaming. So there might be some kind of pros to you using it in a slightly different way, but I'm just gonna show it to you in, I guess the traditional setup. So just coming into the Google Play Store, I'm just going to go in and search in there for Roblox, but first of all, just showing you some of the other games that are available. Obviously, basically any game that you can get to in the Play Store is bound to be um, compatible with your Chromebook, and this being a newer Chromebook shouldn't struggle. Um, so just search for Roblox in the Google Play Store. Here it is. Um, so yeah, you can just install from there. Uh, obviously, it shouldn't be too slow in downloading and installing. I think it's about 80 meg or so. Uh, let's see here. Okay, a bit more, just shy of 100. And so this is very much like, I guess you would do on your Android phone anyway. It should be familiar if you've already got an Android device, but it's not hard to get used to if Chrome OS and Android apps are new to you. This is just, I guess, my internet being a bit slow, but here we go, it's just downloading and then it's going to run into the install. Okay, and then you can just hit open from there. It's going to fire up Robox for the first time. I'm just going to go down to the shelf, right click and then pin that to the shelf to keep the shortcut there. And now it's just going to go through this first time load up. Um, I'd already created an account. I'm sure if you're getting a Chromebook and it's new to you, you're already playing this in another way, so you can just go ahead and log in there. Okay, so just signing in. And then I do recommend letting Google save your passwords, obviously try and generate those secure passwords as well, and then it all becomes a lot easier to manage and not have to remember them. And you're gonna be that much more secure with a unique password on everything you're using. Um, you can see here all the different games within it available. I'd already started playing this uh, Lumen Legacy game, so that's what I'm just going to fire up and show you. So here we go. So obviously I'm capturing some of this directly on the Chromebook, on the screen, and then I've also um, filmed with the camera. So you're going to just switch between and see the two. Yeah, and I'll just give you a bit of the gameplay footage. Um, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing in the game, but I'm just going to show you the different controls that are available, and hopefully it just gives you the confidence that, yeah, I can play this on my Chromebook. Okay, so let's go into a new game. Yeah, and it's going to just ask you to confirm. Are you sure you really want to do that? Um, don't worry, I don't think I had any progress to particularly lose here. So, yeah, and then you can just see it from the start of the game. Okay, so it's going to go in and play the kind of cutaway intro to the game now. Um, once that's all run through, I'll then show you how you can uh, play the game using the different controls, so ranging from the Chromebook's keyboard to the Chromebook's touchscreen, even pairing a Bluetooth gamepad with it, so a controller like a PlayStation 4 controller that I've got, that I'll show you that. Um, might be a kind of preferred way to play, or at least to have that option. Um, just while this runs through as well, probably a good time for me to just say, well, firstly, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you do like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, give it that like. And if you are new to the channel, you like the content of this video, you check out the other videos after this one, um, please do give a subscribe. That would really be appreciated. But yeah, take a look, see what you think. This guy's enjoying it, I can tell. 
Um, and as I say, as soon as this bit's done, we'll get into the gameplay, but you can go ahead. If uh, anyone is still listening at this point, you may have already gone ahead and found the chapters and skipped ahead to get into that next section of the video. So just clicking through just to skip through all of this, but I'm sure this looks familiar if you played this one before. And then, yeah, just showing you a bit of the uh, various control options. So you can use ASDW for moving around. You can then use the cursor arrow keys on the bottom right there to kind of pan the camera around. What I quite like to do, though, is use my PlayStation 4 controller. So you can just pair this with Bluetooth or any other Bluetooth compatible controller to your Chromebook. And then you can go ahead and use that for playing. Um, you can, of course, use the touch screen as well, just figuring out where it is and how to navigate around. So I guess you've got those three main options, really, of the touch screen, the PS4 controller or a similar Bluetooth controller if you have one or using the physical keyboard. It's really whatever you feel comfier with. And I guess depending on what mode you've got the Acer spin in, you might have a preference for one of the particular inputs. Okay, so just cutting back to a bit of the footage from the actual Chromebook. Um, obviously, I was just using the physical keyboard here. It was just easiest to type in here, but if you've got it in tablet mode, it'll pop up with the on-screen keyboard if you need that. This bit did seem a little bit laggy or slow. I guess it's talking back or um, saving to your profile there. There's my character looking a bit sad with the default avatar. Never did get to find out more about that watch. Okay, so just more clicking through all of the speech, getting going. And then, yeah, just using those different methods of control again, just to show you on the Chromebook, using the ASDW uh, keys for moving around, panning around with the cursors for the camera angle. Um, you know, I guess it just opens up more options than just playing it, I don't know, on your, um, either on your kind of phone or tablet or playing it on your PC where you maybe don't have a, a touch screen. I guess you've just got all the options available to you here using the Chromebook. The other thing I was going to show you is, of course, if you go to uh, the website and log in there, you can do that, of course, within Chrome, and then you can click to launch the game once it loads up here as well. And then it's just going to prompt you uh, with basically with an app association and say, well, do you want to open that up in the uh, the Roblox um, app? So, yeah, you could tick that remember my choice and just click open and then you're straight back into the app again. The only other thing uh, that I was going to show that I meant to capture earlier was just about the different graphics modes. So I can go in and show you a bit of that now. Um, but essentially it was running straight away in the high graphics mode, as you can see here. Um, I tried switching it off, but didn't particularly notice any difference in this quick kind of test that I did. So yeah, I hope this has been useful, guys. Um, bit of a, a random one from me just based on that comment, but I hope it gives you confidence either for your Chromebook or for a Chromebook you're getting for your kids that, yeah, they can absolutely play uh, Roblox on it and a ton of other Android games as well. Please do give a like if it's been useful or interesting or just kept you amused. And if you would consider subscribing, that would really mean a lot as I try and grow the channel a bit. All right. Cheers, guys.